Okay, I thought I would um, kind of talk about some of the stuff that I um, like to have on hand when I'm working with my elite desks um, <clears throat> that just make it, especially when you start getting into having uh, <laughs> two, three, four, you know, lots of them, uh, ones in uh, spares on the side and um, setting stuff up, testing them, configuring them, etc. cetera. Uh, the stuff that's just going to make it uh, a lot easier to deal with. And um, <clears throat> even if you're starting out with just one, um, it's going to make your life easier. So the first thing I'd want to talk about is um, a good um, screwdriver toolkit. I like this particular um, iFixit one. I really haven't found a use for this. This is the, the extender. Obviously, this works, um, you know, you use this for everything. Um, this particular guy, I should probably buy like three or four, uh, you know, you can't take any pretty much anything out without this uh, T15, uh, the um, Phillips heads. This one actually, uh, what does it say on it? Yeah, this was actually... I got um, a small kit from Amazon I had for a number of years. It's, it's only about this big. It's actually originally made more for working on cell phones because uh, it's got like the pentalobe and some of the, the, the tiny ones. But I like this one. Number one, if I have to pop something up, um, this is good. But I actually use this end. Uh, you may have seen it in some of my videos when you have the uh, top case off, this way you can kind of push the um, power button on. And so that's what I use this for. Uh, this is their Jimmy. Um, don't really have to Jimmy too many things with uh, the Elite Desks, but uh, uh, it is handy definitely for the laptops getting in there and opening up. So uh, I would say any toolkit as long as it has um, magnetic, you know, so for holding on to those screws, picking them up, make your life a heck of a lot easier if you get that. Next thing I would get um, and have available, um, I know it can be, you know, adds the price, but if you can have spares of things, uh, it just makes it a little easier when you're moving stuff around, um, maybe from one unit to the next, or you're testing a brand new unit. Um, I like to have um, a little extra RAM around, even if it's just a single stick that I can uh, put in just so, as long as I can boot. Um, that way also for testing, in case you think you have a bad RAM stick, this is some, you know, an extra um, NVMe drive, um, some spare SATA drives, uh, particularly if you can get one of your SATA drives and install um, you know, either Windows 10 or Windows 11 on it, because then... You can pop that out of one of your units, stick it in, and instantly you have something that is bootable. Plus, it's a lot easier to get to than your uh, NVMe, and um, you know you, you don't have to take out the drive caddy and so forth. You can just stick this in, and you have something you can boot from uh, relatively quick. Um, I just have to have some extras. I've tried all the different brands, um, uh, you know, with varying uh, degrees. I even have some that came with the units that are some real funky brands and they just keep keep going. So, you know, just keep keep an eye on them. I also like to keep the extra, um, some of the um, uh, 2230s. Um, this one is the famous one that I've used a lot um, I, where I've put the um, Win, Win 10 XPE on it. Again, a nice quick and dirty way to, to boot up. So having some of those extra um, components around, um, I guess you could if you um, are so inclined to even have an extra CPU laying around, maybe a 6500T, uh, something that would be a little more um, universal that you could put in, in various uh, units. That's always handy. Um, I never seem to have those. This has been a lifesaver, and I almost returned it thinking I was never going to use it. And it's basically allows you to um, stick in a um, one of the NVMe 
all the different sizes, all the way down, you know, 2230 to the uh, 2280, uh, and then you can hook it and connect it to your um, normal PC, and that way you can, you know, wipe a drive, you can do tests on it, you can do the whole thing. These are great, real simple tool list, because this guy just pops in, you just kind of put it to where, what size you need. Um, again, this is the, this is one of the few ones that I've seen that will handle the different sizes. Some, a lot of them only handle the 2280s. So this has been a, a, a godsend. Um, then I've got um, where I've created a uh, Windows to go. Um, this has been handy to be able to boot up. Uh, this was used when I was trying to get the um, G1 the BIOS um, patched. I needed uh, an actual true Windows environment to be able, so I was able to make it. Um, these um, uh, particular, uh, this is like a 64 gig one. They're real, very inexpensive. Uh, they've done well. I use Ventoy. Uh, that one I can put lots of different, um, you know, I can put the Win uh, uh, 10 XPE on it. I can put um, Proxmox installer. I can put all the various distros. I can put the Windows uh, 10, Windows 11 installers on here. Uh, and I only need one to, to boot from. So that's that's been very handy. These are just some random items. This to me has been the coolest thing. Um, you get them in a three pack and it's really was originally made so that you could plug this into a normal wall and then have, was it one, two, three um, plugs on it. But what I actually do is I use it on my UPS uh, because a lot of times if you've got the normal kinds of stuff that, that, that just plug right in, you know, all nice, boom, 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 that's fine. But you'll maybe you want to plug in the um, AC adapter to your um, a router. Well, a lot of times <laughs> those aren't going this way. They're going like, you know, they're coming in like this. So what's cool is, is I plug this in. Then I can come along and I can plug my AC adapter right there, and then that way it doesn't, um, or 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 put it on the side, or you know various ways, so that that way it helps to reduce having to eat up a um, slot because it, it you know it it turns it it turns it the the was it ninety degrees or whatever in order to do it. So these are really cool. Um, they're, uh, who's it, Cable Matters, and um, they are uh, UL listed. Um, these I've shown in the video uh, allow you to put um, a uh, 2230 into a 2280 slot. This is my giant collection of random screws. Um, when I've been trying on the G4s to uh, put a 2230 and I needed some bizarre screw, I just went there. These I've collected through the years of um, decommissioning computers, uh, people giving me stuff for e-waste. If I see some, you know, small enough screw, I just kind of collect them. So those are always kind of handy to kind of keep around. You're going to need a hard connected uh, mouse and keyboard, definitely keyboard. And Early on, I got all excited and I had bought a, a tiny keyboard I thought was great. I think I even put it on, a, on one of those YouTube shorts. And then when I went to use it, I realized it had no um, function keys. It had no, it didn't even have a delete key or something because I couldn't do a control alt delete. Um, and then I started looking, I had no Windows key. I'm like, oh, that was 10, 12 bucks or whatever down the down the the, uh, the drain so um, so I kept looking and um, happened to go by the um, micro center and they were having a, a sale on this and I think I got this for maybe 10 bucks uh, let's see this one says it's the DK 9121u and I love this one this is this is just perfect I mean, it's got all the stuff. It's not too big. It's pretty tough, and it works. And then I've got this um, travel mouse uh, because mainly 
I just you, you just start running out of space on your desk when you're trying to do these projects. So it's nice if you can get the stuff that's that's small and, and compact for it. Uh, thermal paste, always good to have around. Pick your poison as far as what it is. Um, I went with this one. Not that I know anything, you know, one versus the other. Some people were telling me about Grizzly. Some people were telling me about, you know, all these different ones. I've seen, you know, cru uh, I think, um, not Crucial. Uh, anyway, other ones, ha uh, you know, make thermal paste. I like the, the noc Noctua, Nocturna, Nocturna, Noctua. Um, it, relatively inexpensive. This particular tube has lasted me. Um, this is my second tube. Uh, I was able to do quite a bit. Now that I don't put so much thermal paste, it, they last a lot longer. The other thing that's good to have is extra um, uh, power brick. At least one, preferably two, because one you just want to have sort of for your workbench. Uh, so that way when you're plugging stuff in, you're shifting around, it's not a uh, power, power brick that's being used for anything else. Um, this is the 65 watt. Got it going the wrong way. 65 watt. You may want to also get a, a, a backup 90 watt in case you're doing some testing. Um, that way you can run the uh, 65 watt units with the um, the you know straight uh, the non T processors in there. Um, if you want to get real fancy, you could go up. And I've been thinking about this myself, having a spare 120 watt. I believe that's used in some of the uh, ones that have the GPUs and also that use the K processors. So always good to have extra. Make sure you get the right spec, the exact one in terms of uh, voltage and um, uh, amperage for uh, your unit. So that that way, um, I mean, the, the standard one uh, for most units is the 19.5 volt, 3.33 uh, amp. Can't say enough, you, you really need a um, HDMI to display port, um, either an actual cable or um, an adapter. I prefer the adapter, that way um, if I want to hook it to you know, various things, I don't have a, uh, a, a spare or, or a particular HDMI that, that's, that only has um, a display port at the end. But this I use so much. I mean, you're constantly uh, needing to be able to, to hook up your unit. So definitely this, you're going to um, have, uh, this just happens to be yellow, but uh, a, a nice spare uh, network connection to your router, um, preferably a, a secondary router that you're playing with. Um, that way then whenever you're hooking in your unit, you're putting in the display port, you're putting in the... Um, the power, and then you're putting in the uh, the network. That way, um, again, you're not pulling it out from someplace else. You've got a, a dedicated line just for it so that you can do it. The other thing I would mention with power that I like to do is, and I mentioned a little earlier, is is if you can get a, um, you know, a UPS, you know, a uh, um, battery backup. Because if you're there... I don't know, upgrading the BIOS or installing Windows, whatever it might be, and you get a power outage, you're going to waste a lot of time. You could fry the board. You could do a lot of things. If you plug in your, um, that, your sort of your workbench, that power adapter into the UPS, you get a power fluctuation. You're not going to worry about it. Okay. Um, one of the last things I would recommend, um, not that exciting to show you, but uh, is a monitor with multiple inputs. Um, I have one that has two HDMI and one uh, VGA. That way, if I have something that's really strange or some partic particular thing and I've got to use VGA, I have that available. My HDMI, I can switch between connecting using, um, you know, this guy and maybe what, another computer so that I, I'm, you know, if I'm doing research, etc. One thing, though, is I would recommend is I actually have two monitors that have multiple inputs. And I prefer the one that's a little more, um, I don't know what you call it. it. It's not as fancy in that it doesn't do auto switching. 
because what's annoying is you plug in your um, HDMI into your um, you know G2 that you're doing some work on, and you take a little bit of time, and it says, oh, gosh, I didn't find anything. I'm going to switch back to another one. You kind of want one that's just going to stay there until you physically, through the controls, tell it, switch to you know a different input. Um, I just find it a lot, a lot easier uh, having doing it that way instead of you know. Again, I, I was doing some experimenting early on using the auto switch, and it was frustrating. So I like having where it goes directly into it for removing um, old thermal paste from the CPU and heat sink. You want some um, isopropyl alcohol, and I like to use these. They're actually um, makeup remover pads. And it's nice because it doesn't have a lot of, um, you know, lint and stuff coming off of them. These work really great. Put a little bit of ice, isopropyl, take, take it right off. I probably should have shown this back when I was showing more of the um, stuff having to do with um, the drives. This is also a sobrant. Um, this particular one um, is kind of handy because if you've got a, um, uh, a drive... Uh, a SATA drive and you just want to be able to quickly um, look at it on another one, uh, another computer. Uh, it's very easy st sticking the drive in here, um, slips over and just, you know, kind of tightens, put the cable in, you're ready to go. Um, they sell ones that are a little more permanent, whether it's got screws and so forth. This is nice because it's quick and deep, you know, quick and easy to, uh, to get in and out. And again, it's handy. Um, sometimes you'll want to do this maybe if you were trying to do a, um, a disc uh, cloning or, or, you know, maybe you want to mount it. I'm sure there's other nifty things I hadn't thought of. Um, if you have your favorite uh, tool accessory, uh, please leave it in the comments. Um, that way to help uh, others, uh, um, you know, if there's something that, that uh, I I didn't think of, but uh, you use a lot, especially for your uh, elite desk uh, tinkering, please let us know.